Today, I'm Peter Johnson from henrythornton.com, which as you may know is located in Melbourne, Australia. If you follow the Australian news, you will know that we've had massive floods in the north of the country and horrific bushfires down south. It's been a very hot summer and the bushfire season is by no means over yet, but there's been enormous and horrific loss of life and loss of property and loss of stock. Still, like many people in adversity, no one's whinging, people are helping each other a lot, and of course the government is helping out. But the main message is really that people are helping themselves and individuals are helping not leaving it up all up to government. Many heroic stories, many sad stories. The fact of the matter is the bushfires came upon us very suddenly, not unlike the global financial crisis. And I was moved the other day to say that like the global financial crisis, it started with perhaps a small amount of smoke on the far horizon and there were reports of fires in the, in the distance and suddenly without any further warning the fire was rushing up the valley, the sky had gone dark and people were fighting for their lives. Well it certainly feels a bit like that with the global financial crisis. Everywhere you read or watch on television you see further reports of hardship and, and an economic slowdown that in its speed of collapse, it must, must be unprecedented, certainly in my lifetime. So we hear America's in deep recession, activity is dropping like a stone in Europe and in Japan. China has slowed, famously slowed, and many people thought that would not happen. Net result, commodity prices are way down, jobs are being lost everywhere. And I think it's fair to say nobody confidently knows how far this economy, this global economy, has got to fall. Now I don't believe we'll see a depression. Uh, we're throwing in an awful lot of financial and monetary stimulus at the problem, although getting the banks back into the lending game is a separate problem in a way and one that's proving more intractable. Governments everywhere are throwing a lot of fiscal stimulus at the problem and so far at least the world has avoided the sort of slide into protectionism that made the Great Depression of the 30s so much worse. But you have to admit I think that we're not certain how far this will go and indeed what more can or should be done by governments. Now in Australia we're commonly regarded as better off because we had a much stronger fiscal position at the start of this. We have, the government has thrown a lot of stimulus at it and what concerns me is that too much of the two stimulus packages now have been helping out people who in theory need help, although nothing like the help that you need if your house has been wiped out by a bushfire and you have to start again without insurance. But we've thrown a lot of stimulus at people who may not need it and we've done very little to stimulate what economists call the supply side of the economy or perhaps I could call, we've done, I could say we've done very little to stimulate national productivity and therefore our international competitiveness. So this is the challenge as I see it, Stim fiscal stimulus is appropriate but it's the mix of spending and indeed of tax cuts that's going to determine how effective these fiscal packages will be. And everywhere we're seeing now conservatives um, standing up for the position that says there should be tax cuts, there should be things that boost productivity in other ways apart from the effect of tax cuts, and we should really limit the straight bailout to real hardship cases of proven need. 
Well, I might stop now, folks, except to note that some of you commented on the, the appearance of my son, who looked as if he had hair somewhat like a wild animal sitting on his head. Well, he's taken these comments to heart and he's now got a new haircut, so when he comes back, he's fruit picking uh, in the middle of the Victorian heartland, or should I say heatland. Um, he says it's the hardest thing he's ever done. So you'll be able to judge for yourself when you see him in a few days with his new uh, head style. Thank you for listening. We'll be back in touch shortly.